Since TikTok blew up in popular culture and began making bazillions of dollars, other companies have been trying so hard to get on the hot cool dance trend. Last week we had meme culture shine a light on the Grubhub ad, this week we've got the Kroger ad, which was released on the 6th of January this year, following up an ad released in September last year. On a technical level, they're fine and do their jobs as ads, but on an emotional level, they evoke a deep, seething rage from anyone who is watching them, and there's a couple of reasons for this. Not only do they constantly use DreamWorks face, but they come off as patronizing, as if one is watching an ad from the inside of the Wall-E spaceship. In that sense, the cartoon aesthetic seems like something geared more towards children than adults and seems to say, you need our app to buy these products because you couldn't possibly make an informed choice yourself. Although this meme blew up after the Grubhub ad, it brings to question whether the internet is going to see a slew of CGI dancing ads go through the meme culture meat grinder. And, like I asked in the last video about the Grubhub ad, are these companies delighted that their product is despised on the internet simply because it means there are millions of people looking at their product? Perhaps we will see a Grubhub Kroger extended universe, or at least someone might make a meme using the same characters. The Kroger ad also uses a lot of soft colours and shapes, which is more reminiscent of a nursery than a supermarket, which is a common advertiser trick intended to remind the viewer of being nurtured as a baby or child and promote good feelings. McDonald's does exactly the same thing. Their playgrounds are implemented in order to instill a sense of fun and adventure whenever kids go to eat there, and many children only want to go to McDonald's to play on that playground. Eventually, this leads to them treating McDonald's as comfort food as an adult, as the institution is treated as a friendly place and they inevitably return as a customer. The Kroger and Grubhub ads are especially frustrating in this sense, as they imply they're looking out for the best interests of the customer by providing them with an app to get lower prices, when really these types of apps are used to accumulate spending habits and data from different demographics in order for the company to get a better idea of what to sell. Essentially, the ad says, look how happy you'll be with our free product, when it's a ploy to get you to tell them exactly what you're buying. It's as the saying goes, if something is free, then chances are you are the product. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>